In March 1996, over 250 people from our community gathered at the first Champlain Initiative Stakeholders Meeting to envision a healthy Chittenden County by the year 2016. People from all walks of life, all ages, backgrounds, races, and abilities came to agreement on this vision. It was striking how much we all had in common, how much we all hoped for the same future in which to grow up, raise our families, and grow old. Ten years ago, David Coates, one of the Champlain Initiative's co-chairs, and John Tucker, then director of the Racial Justice and Equity Project, invited people to participate in the initiative's work. They got together again recently to talk about the Champlain Initiative and the changes it has inspired in our community. So it was a learning process for all of us. And I think that is very difficult for leadership not to impose their viewpoint and not have full participatory things. And I think Janice and David demonstrated that, how to do. It's important that we do have this sense of community and maintain uh, this vision that we started out uh, several years ago in terms of what do we want the Champlain Valley to be. From its inception, the initiative identified three interconnecting attributes that lay at the heart of a healthy and sustainable community. Economic success, social justice, and environmental soundness. The Growth Center Planning and Regionalization Initiative promoted sensible, controllable economic growth while preserving open space. It advanced the concept of growth centers. The goal was to create a sustainable community with both excellent employment opportunities and a high quality of life for all. So, you know, economic planning today can't, can't happen with an economist in a room. It has to happen with people that work in the companies, the people that live in the communities, and that's what the Champlain Initiative has really helped us do, is to really round out and, um, and bring to the table the voices that represent every facet in our community. It represents the, the people from all walks of life in our community. It's hard to believe, but 10 years ago, our community had just begun talking about the need for people to become more physically active. Get on the Move Champlain Valley promoted ways for all Chittenden County residents to increase their activity and strengthen cardiovascular health. The goal was to reduce preventable deaths and disabilities, decrease disparities in the health status of Vermonters, and enhance quality of life. Get Moving Vermont has really blossomed from Get Moving Champlain Valley that was a Champlain initiative uh, program, and it really has become the cornerstone of the governor's blueprint for health to get people more physically active all over Vermont. So it's really the, the basic form started out of the Champlain Initiative movement, Get Moving Chittenden County. In 1996, the lifelong learning team of the Champlain Initiative set as a priority to develop a comprehensive information database and referral service that incorporates a centralized mass of community resources and makes it easily accessible to the public. Vermont 211 launched in February of 2005. Vermont 211 is the statewide information and referral service that connects people with community-based, government-based, and faith-based organizations to help them with their needs. It was the culmination of Get Info Champlain Valley and changes in technology that really allowed 211 to be a barometer of community needs. Now we distribute this real-time data to service providers, professionals, and community planners across the state of Vermont. So folks not only just dial a three-digit number, but they dial our number and they get connected to other programs throughout the state of Vermont. The Our Children, Our Future initiative sought to provide children with developmental assets to make better choices throughout their lives. Research shows that the more assets a child possesses, the less likely that person will be to engage in self-destructive behavior and the more likely he or she is to make positive choices throughout life. The need for more mentors to be positive role models for children and youth became a priority. You know, people today are very concerned about uh, the world we live in and um, everybody wants a safe, stable world. And probably the best way to get there is to create strong, healthy, communities and one community at a time 
And if you think about that, probably the best way to get strong, healthy communities is to have some focus on creating good outcomes for our children. And because these, the, our children are going to be the future leaders in our community. In geologic time, a decade is but a nanosecond. But we've seen what a difference dedicated people can make in a community in just 10 years. While there is still much to celebrate on this 10-year anniversary, there is much more still to be accomplished. 10 years ago, we asked people to join us in this journey. We are here today to ask for your renewed commitment to create the healthy community envisioned by the Champlain Initiative.